Hey guys, Ru here with another vid for Blender and this one's gonna be about troubleshooting problems with trim sheets. This is actually a trim sheet that's gonna be coming on April on our Patreon and there's gonna be a full-on tutorial on how to create it and the other tiers, so tier 1, 2 and also 3 gonna get the trim sheet. Like just this month because this month we also dropped the trim sheet. We're gonna be troubleshooting issues like this in this video, okay? So you see these nasty pulls and they're all over the place really. And I will show you how to correct them. There's also another issue that is caused by uh, bevels being too big, like here. And you see these nasty dots in the middle. I know probably most people say like what dots, but yeah, I can see them. And I know what's causing it. This is caused by bevels being too thick and the holes in these openings being too small. And there you go. And all these nasty pulls in corners like this, you know, the shading problems. This is gonna go because uh, if you bake a decal like that, well, it's gonna look like shit. So you see that here as well. It's just a very common problem and I'll show you how to fix it. All right, so we back in the geo and let's just remove this junk and uh, you know, how do you fix this? Well, the problem with these pulls basically is most of the time lack of sharps or maybe lack of weighted normals. In this case, um, you know, if we check here, you can see that I'm running weighted normals at the weight of 100 and um, so everything is set properly. Um, but you can see that there are no sharp edges around this cutout and that's the problem. Also, we got some sharp edges in the middle which should be gone. So what you need to do is simply go to hard obscure menu and shift control click on sharpen, which will remove all the edges um, that are above, um, that are sharp on any uh, um, geo that is above uh, 30 degrees angle and it's gonna apply them again. So it's gonna remove everything and kind of clean it up. So this is how you remove these edges, you know, with one click. So you kind of remove the edges you don't need and add edges, you know, that you do need. Now you see that sharp edge, the blue one, runs all around this face and that's why it's going to flex it and isolate it and the shading is going to be fixed. Now I need to do the same thing for all these faces and uh, yeah, I'm checking here the uh, settings for my bevel. When you're running weighted normals on 100 weight, you should always run... Uh, shading under bevel and set it to affect it so that's that but anyway i'm gonna resharpen every single item in the scene so i'm gonna just run Control shift on all of them just to make sure that they properly sharpen because i had a lot of bullions and i don't remember which one was you know applied properly which one wasn't right now i'm checking you know uh for more shading problems i'm, I'm trying to figure out which areas were problematic you now this one is also problematic you see that two things in here okay one of them is lack of sharp edges and the other one is these nasty nasty um, long connecting edges to the bullion to the right which we're going to be cleaning uh, you want very controlled edges especially on stuff that you bake like you know trim sheets or any bakes really because um, normal maps are very you know sensitive to stuff like that so you want to run these edges properly um, so I'm, I'm gonna connect these uh, this cutout to the to the to, yeah, to the edges and remove these you know these two edges because we don't need them. You don't want to really connect edges to corners. Uh, it's a bad idea. This is how Blender does it, and it's just awful. So you want to do it properly, like I said, especially when you're baking, uh, because you're doing it once. These kind of a steep angles going into that you know circle, bad idea. Don't do it. So I'm gonna fix this as well just to make sure that everything is peachy, you know, it should be 90 degrees angle, you know, falling into a bevel, okay, so the bevel curves, but you need to imagine that there's like a plane following the curve, and the edge connecting to that uh, curve, to that curved edge needs to always fall at 90 degrees, like in a sort of like a sun ray pattern, okay, so going around. Now I'm checking, you know, ev every single piece of geo and just literally resharpening it just in case, because I don't want to do it twice. All the modifiers, by the way, were applied before, um, you know, trimming. So I simply ran Smart Apply on all the Geo. So now I can very uh, safely, you know, run uh, Sharpen on this. Now I'm going to be fixing uh, these, small, uh, these small cutouts. And you see that bevel is really supple. We cannot see really anything here. But the problem is that if I'm going to go to... Um, 
to the uh, shift C, you can see that dot in the middle is way too dense. And I can guarantee you that, you know, there is a overlapping G over there, which is actually causing um, the um, this kind of like a dark dot in the middle. So, you know, because these cutouts are quite deep, you can't see it very well. But if you were more shallow, uh, you know, you would be. So you see now, if I'm going to change the bevel now, you see that now it's getting relaxed and now you can see the middle so that's that's properly done okay so be careful with stuff like this because that also can affect shading and you're gonna be wondering what the hell is going on with my mesh right and you know this is fixed so everything should be peachy now so i'm gonna be reloading the maps and i'm gonna be rebaking everything from scratch now here is not a problem that when I resharpen this, uh, these edges are uh, running at a lower angle of 30 degrees, so they will not be resharpened. You need to resharpen them manually. I'm actually running bevel weights on this piece because you know this angle is not steep enough to support this kind of a shallow angle. So if I didn't resharpen these edges, I'll be losing a bevel. Therefore, I'll be getting some shading problems as well. So I need to uh, redo these edges manually. Um, Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So, you know, you see, like when I resharpen it, they're gone again. So, I need to go ahead and just manually add them to that piece after I run the resharpen tool uh, with hard ops. Also, I'm going to add the edges on the, on, the, on the bevel here because this face also could have some pulling issues and some shading issues if you're not going to flex it. Because if you got, you know, uh, three edges are sharp and one of them isn't, you're probably going to end up you know with some shading issues especially when the area is large and flat guarantee you 100% you're gonna have some problems right so I apply the new maps in decal machine and I'm gonna be simply re-exporting everything uh, with the new maps everything should be fine and you know the trim should be perfect so what I'm gonna do is simply I'm just gonna run one trim on it so I'm not gonna be slicing it I'm just gonna run one trim so this is how you check it really like a test bake so you just you know run one slice on the whole thing and decal machine gonna apply this kind of reflective uh, mud to it and i can see that everything is fixed there's not a single shading issue on this trim sheet everything is you know beautiful so this is how you fix problems with your trim sheets or decals uh, you know lack of sharp edges or uh, bad geometry maybe two large bevels usually is the problem see these dots in the middle of this uh, these circles are gone as well so everything looks peachy. The bake is really clean. Uh, you're gonna have some aliasing problems, of course. I mean problems, you know, visible aliasing because what well, the limitations to what you can do with 4K resolution, right? But um, nonetheless, they look really clean. These holes are baked really clean as well. They're quite dark, so you can kind of imagine that there is, a, you know, nothingness behind it. Could run some cables over there or something. It's also a possibility, but. Uh, so there you go. This is how you fix problem with trim sheets, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Now, this trim sheet is going to be available on Patreon on April. Uh, the tutorial is going to be for tier 3. Full on add on tutorial how to create it from scratch to finish. And uh, the trim sheet itself is going to be available for all the tiers. And uh, now, what I'm just doing here is I'm actually checking if the trim sheet tiles correctly. So, if there is no difference or like variations in shading on each of the sides of the trim sheet because you know trim sheet is a tallable thing so it needs to tell seamlessly and if it doesn't it means you didn't do a good job so that's it guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did hop on our patreon amazing stuff over there this month we got a uh, sci-fi landing gear and a sci-fi barrier and the trim sheet as well so amazing content this month next month new stuff coming up really cool as you can see so hope to see you there links to video uh, links to all the add-ons like hard ups box cutter decal machine mesh machine you know all this stuff in the video description so if you want to buy them grab them through the links you're gonna help me as well hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did thank you for watching catch you next one